Hey everyone, I wanted to show you the trees on um, the way to and from work that I wish, this is the thing I like about living in Washington and the different seasons. Um, the trees are beautiful, it's crazy here. Um, see the different colors. And what I'll do is I'll show you my drive home. Um, so you can see it, I'll do it the majority of the way home. Should be less than 15 minutes, a lot less than 15 minutes. But that way you can see, this is actually considered the east side. Um, I'm technically in Bellevue. Um, Washington, which I'm 15 minutes from downtown Seattle. And you can see what it's like. It's still foggy. It's like 3.46 in the afternoon and it's foggy still. Not bad, but kinda. It was really foggy this morning. You couldn't even see. I had posted about the, um, the accident I saw on the way to work today. It looks like one of the people died and um, the driver took off, but either got brought back or came back with their mom and they're supposedly in jail I guess but this is interstate 90 going west and I don't know if you'll be able to see it up here in the future and if somebody calls me on the way home I'm going to be pissed because when somebody calls me it turns my cam off and then it ruins the whole thing because I sure as hell am not going to start it again so straight ahead in the distance, that's Mercer Island. Um, that's in between Bellevue and Seattle. And then once I get to Mercer Island, you'll be able to see the Seattle skyline from um, looking west. Uh, the one thing about this phone mount is it shakes like hell. So I have to steady it so that it's not bad. Otherwise, let's see, so I'm gonna let go of it. Yeah, it really shakes. So if I post on YouTube, they'll stabilize the video. But just normally on Facebook, it doesn't. But just by touching it, it stabilizes a little bit. Okay, so I've got a question for people that watch this. In my car, there is no garbage, okay? But I have these little tiny flies. They look like fruit flies, actually. That I don't know where they're coming from. When I turn the heat on, um, they're definitely coming out of the vent, but they hang around my windshield and they drive me nuts because they're flying around my head when I'm driving. So I'm just, have any of you ever had that? I looked under my seats because I thought, well, maybe I bought something at the grocery store, like an apple or something like a lime or something that fell under my seat and that's why it was going bad but I don't know um, so it's just it's driving me nuts but they're like in the door jam shit okay crazy drivers today it doesn't help when I try to um, smash the flies so, okay, I guess I wasn't on Mercer Island yet. Now, I'm still getting close. This is like, it was Mercer Island in the distance, but now that it's still Mercer Island in the distance, and now the freeway is going to get more actually on it. I don't know what this little section is to the left and right, which you can't see, but it's showing... Uh, it's Lake Washington, but I don't know what it's called on this side. Um, damn, this place. Oh, today has been a long day, but it's 10 to 4, Saturday afternoon, the 19th of October. 
good thing is I'll be home in hopefully like 10 minutes. When I move next month, which it's definitely confirmed, I got the house. Um, I just had to delay it a month. Because uh, my friend, who's going to be my landlord, he's, he's actually just cleaning out. He's doing a little bit of painting, getting it ready. Um, asked me to wait another month. Um, it should add about 20 minutes to my commute. But driving at 4 in the morning, there shouldn't be that much traffic. You can see now, it's Saturday, so it's lighter. But even during the week, it's not too bad leaving at 3.45. I normally can leave a little bit earlier. But I was talking with my manager before I left today. And as you can see, it's gray, cloudy, overcast. Welcome to Seattle. Oh, I got the bug. Yes. The one fly that was going by my head over and over again. Um, I was able to kill. So these are one of the tunnels that I said it looks like... Um, uh, Battlestar Galactica, kind of. This one, not as much as coming uh, from the other direction. But... And now we're about to hit the um, I-90 floating bridge that goes across Lake Washington. So one of the reasons I'm making the um, video going home is so, um, Brian, I know you're watching. You said you like seeing places that you haven't been. Um, you can see that in the distance there, that's Seattle. That's the south end of Seattle. I don't know if you can see. I can see it, but, you know, I wish I had a camera that could view as good as our eyes. Um, but that's um, Leshi. Madrona. I think it's more Leshi than anything. Um, and then the I-90 goes through the center of the hill. And then I'll pretty much uh, film it until I get to where I get off the freeway on Capitol Hill. Because um, I filmed that before, so I'm not going to show all that crap again. Oh, I might show the one area because the trees over there are really cool by the convent, the Washington State Convention Center. I'll film there. But once I turn on to the main road to up to my place, I'll turn it off. And I'm not playing any music because, um, YouTube will block it in other countries for copyright crap. So. Okay, this is the tunnel, but coming the other direction that looks more like the Battlestar Galactica one, kind of. Because it's more straight. It's not like the curve like the last one I was in. And it's funny how bright the tunnel looks on this camera tonight. Or this afternoon. Um, it normally doesn't look this bright. And the camera doesn't take a good um, video. But it could be... Oh, you know what? I'm not using the camera that's facing me. That's usually the bad one. So this is actually a lot better camera um, on the back of it. So I wish there was a way to... Does anybody know of a way that I can stabilize the um, cell phone holder so that it's not as shaky? Because again, like right now I'm holding it with my finger. I'm just press, um, applying pressure. But as soon as I let go, watch. To me, it looks like it's shaking. I don't know when it's finally done if it's going to come out that way. But it might. So you can see um, downtown Seattle in the distance. 
Um, you'll see it more once I take that exit. There's the bit. Oh, there it is. There's the buildings. Um, let's see. Last time somebody um, made a comment that I turned my blinker on after I had already gone in the lane. Well, that time I didn't. So, ha ha. See, oh, okay, now you can see. Now you can see more of downtown. And now you probably won't because it's over to the left. You'll see it a little bit, not much. That building on the right, that's the Pacific Rim Center. <laughs> I like telling people that. It's actually what it's called. It's um, in the International District downtown. Ooh, maybe I'll go get Chinese food. That sounds good. Maybe I'll do that. Um, so there's some more of that. Um, that used to be the AT&T Gateway Tower, the one with that green roof. I don't know if that's still called that one. Uh, straight ahead is one Union Square, or two Union Square. I don't know what it's called. It's Union Square. Um, but I don't remember it's called one or two. hard to, well, you can see the top, but it's really foggy, so it's, this morning you couldn't even see the building, but let's see, I will show you more, you can tell by the video, I live really in, really close to downtown, so that's why it's so expensive, and uh, it's ridiculous. And next month, I'm moving to West Seattle, which I'm, it's going to be a lot more residential area um, and all that. So, okay, people think I drive crazy. I don't. I just, you know, I pay attention. Oh, oh this is the street with all the trees that's really cool. So this, if I get a house, you know, when I actually buy a house that I own, I want the streets to look like... Um, the trees to look like this so that there's tons of stuff always changing colors and stuff like that. I love how they have their um, top down in the Mustang convertible in front of me. If I had a convertible, I would have the top down all the time. And I would have the heater on full blast just to enjoy the convertible. Because believe me, in the summertime, you don't have that much time to enjoy the sun in a convertible. Okay, lady, are you crossing when you're not supposed to? You made it before it went green. She's got a lot more time. I'm just bitching about it. Come on, dude. I'm actually doing pretty good. You haven't seen any road rage in this video. Thomas, you if you get to this point, I know Thomas watches the videos. If you get to the point where, oh, do not even pull out. Yeah, get off your phone. Maybe that helps if you get off your phone. Thank you. And, I, and don't nobody give me crap about being on my phone. I'm not touching it. I'm not holding it. Yes, I'm doing a video, but my hands are on the steering wheel. So, I don't understand the law in Washington that says that you, um, you're you supposed to use a hands-free device or be in hands-free mode when you're on your phone in your car. Really? The law says you just can't have it up to your ear. If you can hold it in your hand close to your face on speaker and they won't give you a ticket. How does that make it safer? I sure as hell would like to know. Whoa, she's shoving that in. I don't think you saw that person that was just shoving that falafel or whatever the hell it was. Falafel, waffle, waffle cone. I don't know. There's the Paramount Theater on the right. The Moody Blues. Oh, the Moody Blues are going to be here tonight at 8. I bet that's going to be rocking. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So you've all seen this before. This is the normal way I go home. Um, I hate it when it starts... Whoa, okay, boss. I hate it when it starts getting colder because people start putting clothes on. You don't, you don't get to see as much. See, and this is the bad road that makes the phone jump a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <sighs> I need to go home. Not necessarily change, but take care of some business. And then go back out and get food today. And then go home. I'm not scheduled to work tomorrow, but I'm on call. And I kind of want... I want the money for the overtime. But I kind of don't want to work too. So I'm hoping the person that's scheduled doesn't call out sick. But if they do, then that means more money to move with. So, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, who are you? Hello, to the left. I'll carry your bag. Oh, he's wearing flip-flops, but he's got socks on. Okay. You're a little crazy. Everybody in this area is a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. If you just heard that, I locked my doors because I realized it's a crazy area. Uh, what is today? Today's Saturday, so the farmer's market is tomorrow. Our one farmer's market is now open... Um, year round every Sunday so that's kind of cool so I don't know I don't know if you saw those green stripes there's green stripes for bikes now bicycles um, and you're supposed to when you pull up to an intersection you're supposed to leave those empty so there's room for the bikes to um be in front of the cars I guess when the light changes there's another green thing coming up. I don't know what they call them. It's just the green bike spot. You can see it on the ground as I pull up here. It's also part of the green lane on the right. So in front of the two cars in front of me, I'll wait. What I'll do is I'll let those cars pull ahead of me when the light goes. And you can see how it's a bike section that's there. Oh. Whew. Um. Ooh. I don't think you can see the person over on the left with the baseball hat and jeans. See, this is why I need a little remote so I can turn the lens of where it's going. Oh, see the green spot? See how it's through the whole beginning of the spot? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So here's more trees that are cool. There's, there's a couple blocks that are just totally covered with um, changing leaves and stuff. Enough so that when you drive down, they um, it's like a shower of leaves. Okay, dude, thank you. So do you guys talk to yourselves as much as I talk to myself when I'm doing these? Not when I'm talking, I don't mean that, I mean... I talk to other people in cars, and I'm like, okay, calm down, slow down. Even when I'm not having road rage. So let's see. I'm going to end up just doing this all the way home. I'm like two minutes from home. So if you don't want to watch till the end, you don't have to. I don't care. I do, but, you know, nothing I can do about it. Um, oh, that's interesting. The building in front of me, in the middle, they have netting, and I think it's to keep pigeons from 
roosting. I've just never noticed it before. Okay, here goes the light. So let's see. I'm not going out tonight. Last weekend was enough. Oh my god, I had a good time. I actually was dancing, but you know. I had a couple hard drinks, that's probably why. Because I don't dance normally. And it wasn't on the dance floor, it was up on an upper area that more people could see me, which which normally I would never do. Because I'm so self-conscious about people looking at me and making comments. up here. Dude, amazing. It's almost like a bright, I don't know, it's not a red, but it's the one over on the left. You can see it better when we get closer, right? There on the left. It's not even an orange, it's, it's more red, but is that like burnt sienna? Someone's moving into the building and they're parked in a handicap spot without a placard. I'm gonna rush into my building. I'm gonna call the police. Assholes. And by the time I get in, oops, got two lights on. By the time I get in, you will see. Well, I'll run back up and I'll get a photo. And post it on the handicap spot. Violator's blog. Okay, peeps. See y'all later.